but I love doing this to it all the time. That's really creepy. <laughs> it just kind of moves on its own. It's not even that good of a beard. It's not like I, I can't brag about the quality at all. It's very patchy. I Ran into a bunch of coaches, you know, obviously that I've known. I've been in the MIAA before and got to shake their hands. It's speeding things up, you know. I know it's we're almost, you know, five or six days away from getting into camp and going, but it seems like it's going to be here tomorrow with this. So everybody's really excited. And we're down, we go, 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 go. We're down, we go, 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 go. Uh, not, not too many thoughts, you know, Ryan. I just, I don't, I don't get into that that much. Um, all I'm doing is I'm going to stay within our team and within our chemistry and within our fundamentals of what we're talking, what we're trying to cultivate through our program. I don't know who votes, coaches or whatever, but I can't really blame them, you know. It's after what we gave last year, you know, going four and seven, you look at a record and that's probably where where a team belongs, but that, that speaks nothing to where to where that team could end up. To me, I feel like we have to prove, and, and you know, with McGuffin being gone now, but I feel like we have to prove that this was this was the correct move, and that that everything that happened, you know, was was the correct choice, and that we need to make things work for the for the university. This is the time that we could make the change when all the changes are happening, where we could change the the identity and, and bring back the old Missouri Western and how how dominant it was of a of a program.